Happy New Year everyone! We have now entered the year of 2021 after such a horrible year we call 2020 and uh, just like I've been doing for the past two years, I would like to reflect on what has happened for the past year, make a few resolutions to myself that I'm probably gonna fail anyway, and also questions of time, which is a thing that I started last year and it's basically like a Q&A. More on that later. Anyways, 2020, the year of Corona, happy funerals, Corona, quarantine, Corona, Black Lives Matter, Corona, green blobs, COVID, wishing we could go back to the good old days, and Corona. Uh, oh, and did I mention Corona? Yeah, and, and, and Corona was a horrible year. Let's face it. When was the last time you had to stay home for pretty much every day of your life? When was the last time hugs and kisses were weapons instead of a sign of love? And speaking of signs of love, when was the last time refusing to visit your family and friends won? Like, there are so many things wrong with this year that was literally just caused by the coronavirus. I mean, almost 2 million deaths worldwide. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And another thing that kind of ruined the year for, like, me, personally, is that I got a freaking 78 ATAR. Freaking 78! Oh my god. For those of you non-Australians who don't know what an ATAR is, it's basically the score that you get for your HSC, the highest school certificate, which is the most important exam of anyone living in New South Wales. That one single between 1 to 100 basically determines the outcome of your life. And I got a freaking 78. Now don't get me wrong, that's not bad per se. In fact, 78 literally means I beat 78% of everyone in the state, which means I'm in the top 22%. But like, look at me, I'm Asian. Wait, no, that's not right to say in this day and age. Uh, I, I just care a lot about my academics. I'm not the typical, oh, I'm not gonna use anything we learned in school in real life anyway. I actually care about my grades. I was a freaking child genius back in the day. I mean, I knew how to do math at the age of three and I had the entire times table memorized at the age of five and then 12 years later, I get a freaking ATAR of 78. So yeah, 2020 was by far the worst year of my life. It is officially worse than 2015 and 2017 combined. And keep in mind, 2020 was the year I got my provisional license, finished high school, met one of my top 10 idols for the second time, this time more epic than the first, and revived my channel. And it is still the worst year of my life. So that completely sums up 2020 for you. You know, we got people in 1980 saying, oh my god, we're gonna have flying cars in 2020. Well, I got news for you. In 2020, even the planes aren't flying. So yeah, 2020 freaking sucked. Anyways, enough 2020 abuse, on to the next part. New year resolutions. It's now 2021 and as always, new year, new me. And also as always, that's what she said. So. It's time to set some new year resolutions for this new year. Let's see how well I did for my last year set of resolutions. So last year, I only gave myself one resolution, which is to manage my time better by creating calendars. And for the first time, I completed it! I was able to make myself a solid schedule for the whole year, and hence it really helped out with my life and made me... Uh... Um... <laughs> yeah, uh... About that, um... I mean, I just, I, I followed it, but I, I just, I just focused on making YouTube videos. Yeah, I just focused on making YouTube, it, uh, well, um, yeah, right, uh, yeah, I, uh, I didn't follow it. So for the four years that I've made resolutions for myself, I failed every single one of them. So, what can I say? I just, I just BS myself too way too much. But it's not all bad news because I've actually set another resolution that I forgot to mention in the video, which is a bit of a weird one, but that is to start wearing my watch on my left hand instead of my right. I've been a heavy watch wearer ever since I was like five. I mean, this is an Apple watch right here. Haters will say it's a ripoff. And the reason I want to change is because, well, I'm right-handed, just like pretty much everyone else in the world. But I've also been wearing my watch on my right hand for as long as I've ever worn a watch. And you can see it in a lot of my videos before 2020. And 
I guess I started wearing on my right in the first place because it was just easier to put on my left. Not sure how that works, but um, yeah. Now the problem with that is that I write and do a lot of other things with my right hand. And in order for me to check the time, I have to stop writing or whatever I'm doing in order to check the time. So I decided to get rid of the habit and muscle memory got the better of me a couple of times early in the year and I accidentally put it on on my right hand. But now I'm fully switched now, which means no more stopping writing whenever I need to check the time. So that's finally a resolution completed, guys. Wow! My first ever successful resolution. It only took freaking five years. Anyways, what about this year? What goals am I setting for myself this year and if I'll even set any? Now, once again, I, I don't want to because, you know, I've never completed one, but I have to. Everyone else is doing it and I'm not improving myself if I just decide to take it easy all the time. So I'm setting myself well, I mean, I can only start with one, considering I've never actually completed any. And that resolution is to manage my money better. Not my time, but my money. Hopefully that'll make it a bit easier. I mean, my purchase history is pretty messed up. I keep spending money on things that I don't need and... Yo, know, that's kind of damaging my wallet and my bank account. So, this year, uh, I'm gonna need to manage my money better. And that's it. Most likely gonna stuff it up sometime during March or April or even February, but... We'll see about that. Anyways, now for the final section of this video. The questions of time. And uh, what this is, is that last year I created 50 questions for myself that I intend to answer every New Year's Day. And uh, I sort of compare the answers from one another. I sort of see how I have evolved in a way, year by year. And uh, now I'm adding in a 51st and a 52nd question which are kind of like special questions, so... The 51st question is, what are my predictions for 2021? And I'll have myself react to that question in 2022. And the 52nd is an extra special one. In fact, I wouldn't even consider it to be question 52. I'll just consider it its own segment. Because that question won't be answered until 2022, because that question is going to be a question I ask to my future self next year. And I guess the whole point of that is just so that I can look back on myself. But anyways, let's answer them. My name is Oscar Liang. Don't think that's gonna change for a long time. I am 17 years old. January 1st, 2021. Today's a Friday. I'd say two. One of them was the friend that I lost in 2019 that I miraculously got back. By the way, I only count friends as people who I know in real life, which negates these guys. And also people who would consider me as a friend as well, which, well, negates this guy. So, um, yeah. <laughs> No one. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they- I kind of do a bit of stuff every now and then at my dad's office, which is like construction kind of work, you know, renovations of buildings and like painting walls and all that. Um, I've only done about four or five jobs for him so far, and at a pay of about $100 per day, that doesn't really pay me much. So for the entire year of 2020, I only got paid about $400. Which is horrible. Can't even use that money to watch fireworks this year, so that's a bit of a shame. Still that same 2,000 Honda Accord, but the difference is that now I'm a provisional driver. I get to drive it whenever I want, and my mom can drive my uncle's car. Which is fine, since most of the time he's in China anyway, so yeah. An iPhone X. Been using this thing for more than three years, and uh, I might upgrade soon. I don't know. Camera quality on this thing is kind of crappy. And yeah, this five-year-old thing still serves as my backup. Long may you live. Empty Sky by Desert Star. You guys might have realized I use a lot of his songs in my videos. In fact, there's one playing right now. And that's because, well, first of all, I already bought a license so I can use his song uploaded on Monster Cat without getting copyrighted. But also because it just kind of fits the style of my videos. You can, you know, kind of happy but not angry or fast-paced kind of happy, uh, dreamy and in a way kind of energetic. So yeah, Desert Star, if you're watching this, keep up the good work. I'm looking forward to your next song, man. When is that gonna come out? It's been freaking almost a year. Blue or kind of like dark blue? Exact same answer as last year. Steak or sushi? Great stuff. And Eagle. So high, my friends. Tottenham Hotspur. I hope this answer never changes. I was a freaking Arsenal supporter in 2015 and that's freaking disgusting. Please 2022 Oscar, please don't say something else. Please don't jump on the bandwagon, okay? A software designer or like a teacher? I 
kind of want to go back to my old school. I've just got accepted to the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Education at UNSW. I didn't do well enough to be accepted to the other two, so a teacher is looking more likely, but I can actually transfer my way up. Same answer as last year, either the BMW M5 or the M8. M6 has been discontinued, so I can't say the same about it this year. Realistically though, I kind of want a BMW 218i, which costs a crap ton less than those two mammoths. I have 369 subscribers on Mighty Eagle 73, 149 on Mighty underscore Eagle 073, 10 on MSource, 103 on Instagram, and 22 on Twitter, which I don't know where that's 22 come from. I don't even use it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things. Uh, I started working, although to a very less extent. Um, I went on my first cruise ship. I attended my first cubing competition. I drove alone for the first time and I stayed home for two months straight because of the freaking coronavirus. Nah, not that I know of. No, and I hope for it to stay this way. So I said last year that for the entirety of the year, I've never been outside of Australia. Well, that is true again for 2020. I actually visited more places outside of Sydney than 2019, even though there was the HSC and the coronavirus. I visited Newcastle on the 30th of March and the Blue Mountains on the 7th of May. And then, of course, the legendary Tasmania trip from December 11th to December 14th. Other than that, that's... That's it. Like second year in a row, I've stayed in Australia and probably gonna be the third this year, a girlfriend. Probably gonna stay that way until I actually have one. Also, I kinda wanna get a sub 15 comp average. I currently average about 17, 18 seconds and uh, I want that time to go down to 13 or 14 by the end of this year. A lot of dates, but only because, well, I remember a lot of stuff. I mean, I memorized pi to 480 digits four years ago. Anyways, 23rd and 24th of March, when a school shut down because of the coronavirus and the quarantine began. May 11th, which is when the quarantine ended. Uh, June 27th, the day I revived Mighty Eagle 73 and coincidentally, my birthday. August 12th, the day I got my provisional license. Uh, September 25th, the day I graduated high school. Uh, November 6th, the day my HSC was finished. December 11th, when I met up with OS First Timer, and December 12th, when I attended my first ever cubing competition. That's all the dates. Definitely not my 78 ATOL. Definitely not. Probably me reviving my channel again, getting my first job, and uh, becoming a lone driver. Feels good, that. I've said it way too many times in this video. I don't need to say it again. Gosh. And let me tell you, yeah, I even went to a selective high school, which is like, a more prestigious version of a public high school. Still public, but just more prestigious. And you get more marks because people there know you're gonna get a good mark due to your background. So you get a, I gotta say, a pretty unfair advantage in your score. But do I even wanna talk about it? Huh. Thank God I didn't. Like, if you get sick in 2020, yeah? People are gonna think you have the coronavirus and you're gonna be treated differently. Like, it doesn't matter what sickness you have. Like, you're gonna get treated differently. Thank God I was perfectly healthy this year. Something that actually doesn't happen too often. I would say a GoPro Hero 9, which I can't show it to you right now because I'm using it to record. Which is the most expensive thing I bought, but... This thing overheats so much, I'm actually pretty sick of it. In fact, this thing overheated when I was recording this video. Like, did you notice the camera angle change between questions 12 and 13? Yeah, I, I, I had to like, sort it out. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say this scan 356XS from Daily Puzzles. Pretty good stuff. Guys, just when I was recording that question, it overheated for a second time. <laughs> I don't even know what's wrong with this thing. Either food or cubes. I spent a total of $645 on cubes with my own money this year. Uh, probably the same amount on food, so yeah, one of the two. Ah, oh. <laughs> my provisional license. Like, ever since February, I've just been counting down the days until I can drive on my own. And uh, now I got it. My Corona by Chris Mann. Any song with the word Corona in it, actually. Sadder. Way sadder. I think I explained why enough this video. I have no idea. Probably weaker since I stopped all forms of exercise and because, well, because of Corona. I say no difference. Uh, I still can't buy anything and my pockets are still empty as heck. Studying. Just studying, okay? Just, ah! Messing around all day, procrastinating and refusing to do work. <laughs> 
You're asking me whether I fell in love with the coronavirus and failing the HSC. Thank you, but no. I haven't watched any TV shows this year. I don't think I've ever had by myself, actually. As for YouTube, uh, it'll be Gaming Through Time by OS First Timer, where Phil gets his mom to try out various games from the 70s to today. I know I'm biased, but even if what happened in 2017 and a couple of weeks ago hasn't happened, I'd probably still pick it. It's really entertaining, although I feel it's kind of blocking out the video schedule because now they don't really upload normal videos anymore. But other than that, pretty good show. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, this guy called Keegan is now my friend again. Not gonna get into the details for obvious reasons, but uh, yeah. Once again, I don't hate anyone. There's only the word don't like. I don't read books. Uh, our school had a mandatory silent reading period every morning and I either sneakily go on my phone, sleep or daydream during that time. That's how much I hate reading. Reading is not a person though, okay? So don't quote me on that for the last question. Don't really have any. I discovered the Sims music though. Does that count? My provisional license. A good ATAR. One of the most heartwarming movies of all time. Frozen 2. It's ironic, isn't it? I revived Mighty Eagle 73. Other than that, nothing much. If the freaking coronavirus hasn't even existed at all. <laughs> and also having a girlfriend. I'm doing it again. Dark jacket, skinny jeans, and some Nikes. Being the same for four years. I guess hair also counts as fashion. Yeah, about like short to medium length hair with a bit of hair gel applied to it. I also like to have like the sides of my hair shaved. And also, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I've actually dyed my hair to a kind of brownish color. Can't really see because, you know, of the camera and also because the dye barely worked due to my extremely dark hair. So, yeah. And I still don't have one. Harry Kane or Hyung Min Son. Just because I'm a Spurs fan. Keep sharing defenses, guys. Not really anyone who I've been making good contact with or people who have been close to me. If you're talking about people who have deceased, probably my grandma who unfortunately passed in 2013. I haven't met that many people this year due to certain events, but uh, probably this guy called Brian who transferred to our school at the beginning of this year, who's in a year below us. Don't slack off, especially before the most important exam of your life. I guess I also kind of learned that even though humans have such great technology and dominate all life on Earth, we don't dominate the Earth itself. And it only takes one pesky little bummer to decimate our population. Final question and also the newest question on our list. For the world as a whole, I think the coronavirus should be mostly faded by the end of this year. And personally, I will be at UNSW doing Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Education. And I still wouldn't be able to transfer to a higher course yet. I will average 13 seconds on 3x3 and be able to solve a 3x3 blind in like 2 minutes. And uh, I have a couple of more jobs that have legit employers instead of just my dad. And there we go. Those are my answers to the questions of time that I ask myself every year. If you guys have the time, because, well, not everyone does, make sure you leave your responses in the comment section below as well. Probably don't have to do 51, just pick 10 or 20 of your favorites, but uh, do 51 if you can, that'll be great. Now, I mentioned something about a special 50 second question earlier on, and that is a question that I asked myself this year, and I get an answer for it the following year. And I might make it a three part question, just because, you know, I have so much stuff that I want to ask that, well, I'm not going to know until next year, so yeah. But, um, to 2022, Oscar, first of all, hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope you haven't failed that one easy resolution I've set for you. I also hope you found another, you know, better job. And I guess my question to you is, um, what do you think of me right now? Uh, do you look down on me saying, oh, wow, this version of me is cringy, or do you want to go back to today? Also, what do you have that I don't have yet? I guess that's all I have to ask you and uh, thank you for your time. Anyways guys, that's all I have to say for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button if you have. Let's see if we get hit uh, 21 likes for 2021. Subscribe of course if you haven't already. Let's increase that number and also while you're at it, turn on that notification bell so you wouldn't miss a video. Anyways, Happy New Year as well to all of you guys. Hope you guys have had a wonderful 2020 despite all the negative events happening in our world. And uh, I wish you luck for what's to come in 2021. Goodbye, everyone.